Greetings and welcome to the Saturday Afternoon Vodcast Podcast. What the fuck is an angry dragon roll? Hey, all you Billy Bumblers out there. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the latest episode of the Vodcast Podcast. We certainly appreciate it. Um, I've had a hell of a day today. We're going to talk about my day for starters. I, um, sometimes I'll go out and I'll get lunch for Carol because she only has a half hour and for her to get anywhere is probably going to be about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes around the lunch hour, you know, time. So I'll go out and get it. I had this feeling though this morning, I knew I had to go out and do some grocery shopping later this afternoon, but I had this strange feeling in my chest that made me believe that my car wasn't going to make it home today. Well, I was half right. <laughs> Um, I went to this new place. Now, it, it might not be a new place, but I never have ordered from it before. It's called Ali, Alji, Ajli, Ali, Ali Ramen, I believe it's called. Something along those lines. I'll, I'll put it up over there. Um, and uh, I went in to pick up the food, got it. I was in there for about five minutes. I had to park behind the place. Here, actually, take a look at this. I can never leave this parking lot without at least taking one video. It's such a good view. It's, it's a little low, but it's pretty neat. Check this out. Check out this van over here. I think, I think you guys would like it. beautiful parking deck. It's one of the best places for your car not to start. Lately, my car has been having this weird issue. Well, for about a year. Probably I've had that checked out six months ago, at least. Um, where if I go into a store and come out like quickly, it won't start. It'll start. It sounds like it's going to turn over, but it's like, nope. And then it gives up. And then sometimes you can wait 15, 20 minutes and it'll start again. And other times it won't. In this case, it did not. And Carol ended up having to come jump my vehicle, which I had to push into a spot that we could actually jump it from. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why didn't you just ask someone? It's because as much as I love the human race, I don't like to talk to people. It, it makes me weirded out. Like having to ask someone a favor randomly like that. Mm -mm, I can't do it. I just can't do it. It's, it's weird. I, I have blockers. I really need to talk to somebody about all these issues because I definitely have them. Anywho, Carol came. She finally got her food, which was probably cold at that point. It was about a half hour later. Uh, we jumped the car, and I brought it to the gas station at the top of my street. Now, that place has always worked on our cars. We've had ups and downs, but I really appreciate them. They're really nice guys, and I trust them. So I think that's super important. They're closed today, but I had already turned the car off, gone inside, and then the lady told me, well, it used to be that you could leave your vehicle overnight and fill out a little form, but the two companies separated. They used to be an Exxon station, and now they're a 76. And for some reason, the 76 didn't purchase or has nothing to do with repairing vehicles. They're just a gas station. So now that they're separate, it's just a royal pain in the ass. So I can't go back until Monday. Thankfully, I got back in the car. It started, and I drove home. And all was good with the world. And when I got home, I had several packages waiting for me. Um, most of them I, were ex I was expecting. I got some new Dr. Martins. Um, I haven't had a good pair of shoes in a very long time. And it was long overdue that I, I purchased myself a nice pair of black six-hole, the nice soft, warbly. Hang on. These. It's these Doc Martins. Weird soles. They used to be all yellow. Yellowish, well, like a, like a clearish yellow. I don't, I don't care either way. You know, you never really see that. That part always touches the ground. But unfortunately, I did receive another, not unfortunately, I received another package and unfortunately tore it open, believing that it was just one of the many things that was coming today. I also had a pair of purple shorts. Oh, anybody who knows me knows the story of the purple shorts. The legend of the Waif King. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. Now, I don't know 100% who actually sent this to me. Let me put my glasses on. I think I might have just ripped my headphones. That's not good. I love these headphones. Uh, oh, 
my eyes. I don't want you guys to see what's in here yet, because... Okay, so it, here's the weird thing. It's spelled G-E-Y-S-O-N, which is fine, not a big deal. Some people get it right, some people get it wrong. And I think my friend Rick has been sending me stuff under the G-E-Y-C-E-N and not the J-A-S-O-N. I know, it's, it gets confusing, but I'm a new man now. Or I was, no, I don't know. Anywho, or this could be from one of my other heat-friendly friends. It could be Frank. I have no idea. I'll talk to him tonight and find out. Um, but I want to show you what's in here. Yes. God damn it. I'm thinking it's Rick Brady because, well, <laughs> first of all, this is, this is how this arrived. A little, a little discombobulated, but that's okay. Anywho, this is the little nitro challenge. This is the hottest gummy bear in the world. And I'm not looking forward to eating it, but I'm going to do it for you guys, for the entertainment value. I might actually do it when my wife's around, because sometimes when I eat hot things, you get to that point where you're like, am I going to die? I think I'm going to die. Like, this is it. This is the end of me. This is too hot. No mere mortal can withstand the evil of the thriller. So the weather is beautiful outside today, and my boys are supposed to join my friend Jen and uh, his her son Beckett to go and try to find morels. Uh, it is the season. Uh, the weather has been perfect for morels. We've had some rain, we've had some sun, and um, there's already been some sightings of morels out there. I found some at Fresh Market because I haven't gone out into the woods to look for them recently. I tell you though, you know, I hate, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't hate mushrooms. I just don't eat mushrooms. I don't like them. I don't like the texture. I've tried a lot of them. The chicken of the forest, chicken of the woods, whichever that one is, that that's not bad. But all things considered, I'm a very texture hungry person. And if the texture doesn't agree with my mouth, we're going to have a problem. All right. I'm working on my masterpiece right now. But my point being is that I thoroughly enjoy looking for mushrooms. The discovery of finding mushrooms and like when I find them before the boys find them, I'm like, hey, Oh, here. What is this? What is it? It's just, it's a fun experience to experience together with your family. And if you love mushrooms, then you should totally uh, go mushrooming, you know, but <laughs> find somebody who knows what they're talking about. We have a friend, Pat Mitchell, and um, he knows what he's talking about. He's, he's an expert in the field and is often called away on duty to speak at uh, conferences on mushrooms, and uh, he has a, a group that he started that's, I think it's mostly based out of Richmond. Sometimes it's here too, though. You may be wondering what I'm doing, or maybe you don't because you know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, Jesus. Duct tape is not fun to work with. God damn it. Mr. Tape, you need to check yourself, son. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. God damn it to hell. God damn it. Shit, son of a bitch. So this Saturday, I will be getting my second Moderna shot, and I will be whatever percentage vaccinated, 90, 80. I have no idea. But the the thing that's kind of bumming me out a little bit is now they're talking about, like, the the, the flu shot that you can get every year. I've never gotten the flu shot. I had the flu when I was a kid, but I haven't had it you know, since I was maybe 10 years old and it was bad and it sucked. But at the same time, like I survived and I don't like shots, but now they're saying with the Moderna shot, you're going to require another one within probably about 12 months. Yeah. I don't like it. Oh, right about there. Nice. Okay. So, I mean, it, that's fine. I don't mind. It's not a big deal if I have to get one every year for the next some odd years. I mean, eventually it's going to level out in the, to the point where it's probably like the flu, unless it evolves to the stage where it just wipes out humanity, which we probably deserve. But I got a little hope for mankind, and I'm really hoping that, uh, you know, we can really pull through. I really hope we can turn this thing around. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. How do I want to do that? Do I want to do that and that? Do I even want to do that? Maybe I don't even want to do that. I think I want to do that, though. That's going to take a little bit of work, though. Okay. You know what? Let's keep it at this. I have an idea, anyway. 
All right, guys, if you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and uh, take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliveira, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Take care, and boy, howdy. <laughs> Shut up.